Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Saturday. Okay guys, we're back in our studio. Uh, we got in from last night, uh, got in last night from Los Angeles. It was just like, I feel like maybe I'm on like four or five hours of sleep. But also I was talking to my mom this morning and I'm like, there are like single mothers out there or parents or fathers who have like three screaming children and they don't get to sleep at all. So you know what? I'm not going to sit here and cry about not having a lot of sleep and then working. It's okay. But it's not about me. You know who's over here complaining? We have Bethany Frankel, and she is shading the hell out of Andy Cohen once again for the Gina K diss. And she's kind of wondering, is this why housewives steal and go bankrupt? We're going to break into all of it. Before we do, go ahead, smash that like button, show some love. Let's jump right in. All right, you guys. So Bethany Frankel, obviously, we know has been extremely vocal in this whole Gina Andy thing. Well, yeah, there's a lot going on. Thank you to Reality Blur. But Bethany defended Gina after she called out Andy Cohen for insinuating that she had the cheapest house in the cast. Bethany, who appeared on a lot of seasons of The Real Housewives of New York, suggested that Andy Shade is perhaps why castmates steal and go bankrupt to look rich as she indicated that 99.9% .9 of housewives are pretending to be richer than they are. But during a recent episode of Watch What Happens Live, it was this, this shady whale conversation. And you guys saw this. Um, it just, well, we'll go through it. She was asked, it was Heather Debro who was asked, who do you think would sell their house for the cheapest? And somebody posted this and she reposted, Bethany. This would be exactly what Bethany Frankel is talking about in her podcast, about how he pits guests on his show in positions to answer questions that reinforce his own opinions. I feel like the tides are turning against Andy. His style of interviewing hosting is very 10 to 15 years ago. He's made a lot of enemies and it's just sort of feels like people are speaking out against him more and more. Like this cancellation is on the horizon for him. Has Andy passed his prime? Maybe he just needs to be on pause. She posted, 50 plus people sent this to me. Is this why housewives steal and go bankrupt to look rich or get made fun of for owning your home? Did they, did the whale write that? Oh, God. Okay. So I want to share with you guys the shady whale of it all and what happened actually from Bethany's own words. Thank you to Bywig Hello Drama. They kill it. They absolutely, I mean, honestly, I love, 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 love their content. But Bethany used the analogy of what if your kids are at school and someone said, Mary has the worst house out of all of us. She continued with my child's school would suspend the kid, maybe expel them. Like the big trouble that would happen if one kid said that someone else had the ugliest or the poorest or the dirtiest house like that children on the schoolyard. This is a show. Andy, I owe you an edible arrangement. Every day I should send you a fruit basket. Every day you prove me right. You're making this so easy. I wish we were... In a court of law, like I said, you're playing checkers and I'm playing complicated chess. I don't even think you're playing chess. I think you're fucking playing marbles. Oh my God. So Bethany Frankel responded to Andy Cohen shading Gina Kirschenheider for saying that she would get the least amount of money if she sold her home. Bethany said, again, is this why they steal and do all of the things that they do? Here. only perpetuates abuse of women to each other it perpetuates somebody getting made fun of if they don't have as much or somebody being glorified if they put their birkin right in the camera shot put that fucking birkin right in the eye of the camera buy a big house you can't afford you buy a big house you can't afford it's better than the alternative the audience is going to think you're rich and i will say it 99.9 .9 of the housewives do not have what the show shows they have. Why was Nene saying rich bitch? To keep up with everybody else. Why was Sheree and Chateau Sheree that never got built? To keep up with everybody else. But the shady whale is going to come make fun of you if you're poor. So you might as well fucking defraud everybody so you can appear rich. You guys created this fucking environment. I was in the center. I can honestly say I never pretended I had a goddamn dollar that I didn't. Can you imagine how degrading? But this environment not only perpetuates abuse of women to each other, it perpetuates. I mean, 
really quick, Bethany, sorry, don't mean to interrupt. Chateau Charest did get built, but it is kind of wild. I sort of agree with having to keep up with the lifestyle unless there. So a lot of times it's kind of like for the WAG show or some of these other shows, you have people who they just absolutely don't want to. I mean, they don't want the people who have the real money. They don't want to share that money on TV shows like this. They don't want their husbands or their spouses or their wives. They don't want to be a part of TV shows like this because they have a lot to protect. And then it's the ones that kind of don't that don't mind it. But hold on. Here we go. Your house looks like. People want to feel house proud. I haven't seen the show. I haven't seen her house, but I'm sure Gina wants to feel house proud. It, she owns it. She bought it with her own fucking money. It's not easy to buy a house. I had Bryn three years. I was in my 40s before I bought a house. The first thing I ever bought my whole life was my apartment in Tribeca. I was like 40, 40 41. I was scared. I bought it with my own fucking money. I had no money up until then. I always rented. What the hell would it mean to buy something to be mocked for what your house looks like? People want to feel house proud. I haven't seen the show. I haven't seen her house, but I'm sure Gina wants to feel house proud. It, she owns it. She bought it with her own fucking money. It's. Oh. I don't paint this picture like I'm dragging behind the herd because I'm not. That was unkind, Mr. Cohen. Mm. Don't paint. The okay. Um. I'm like a little lost for words here, but let's get back to it. Let me stop sharing this tab and get back to all of this. So on her Just Be podcast, you know, she was explaining pretty much that a lot of the housewives do what they have to do in order to keep up with the Joneses for what it looks like on camera, like what on camera will make people envy you or think that you're part of the 1%. We have an example of this right now in the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. We have Lisa Barlow. And Lisa Barlow, people, she lost her $60,000 ring. And she said, my $60,000 ring, my $60,000 ring. I get glam just to go to the grocery store. It does come off like, and maybe that is super authentic to her. And if she gets glam to go to the grocery store, this is not a diss on her. But then you have to get a better spray tan that doesn't keep your hands orange. Um, I feel like even Mary Cosby... It's okay not to have the most money in the room. I think that's fine. What is the big deal about that? I don't understand. I actually enjoyed the fact that Monica was like, it's not relatable. And I think that when I first saw Leah McSweeney come on to the Real Housewives of New York, I found her to be just very relatable in the sense that, you know, we have a we have a lot of friends who are also renting their places and don't have millions of dollars. And Aaliyah looked like a friend. And I'm like, I don't want to watch these shows to see. I want to see like the upper echelon and, you know, the next, like what level these people are at and like the big Miami mansions and the big Beverly Hills mansions. Cause I always thought that that was the most entertaining, but maybe relatable is becoming more entertaining. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not against what Bethany said about Gina and all of this and slamming Andy. I think that she had a great fucking point about this. And I think that it is really nasty to house shame somebody. If somebody can afford their house, I literally just got house shamed. Literally. I live in a swamp. I mean, it's... Right. But you own your homes. Like you, it's okay. You don't, you just don't even talk. You don't talk about somebody's house or where they live or the situation. You don't know where people come from. You don't know where they're going. And you just, it's like a low, it's like you don't attack somebody's kids. You don't attack their marriage. You don't attack their home. If you want to attack somebody for just being a piece of shit, attack them for being a shitty person. And that's okay. I don't dislike you because you don't own your home. I dislike you because I think you're an asshole. And that's relatable. Okay. Lesson over. Guys, go ahead and comment below. Let us know what you think. And more importantly, before you go, don't forget to smash that like button, show some love, and we'll see you next time.